family people welcome back this is the african tigers and guess what today we are in peckham let me tell you the last time i was here i almost got beaten up but today we have a plug we're going to be exploring peckham i've heard a lot of things about this place some people tell me don't go to peckham it's a dangerous place and all that but you know me i don't go with stereotypes so i'm here to find out for myself what is Peckham? Come with me and let's go make my plan. Finally, finally, I get to meet and experience Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian yes, London, in London, Peckham. Yes, Peckham, yeah. yes. So I'm really it's grateful. A it's a yeah, pleasure. last time I was here, my experience wasn't like really good, and you know, you saw what happened. I saw if I knew I you were here, yeah, I know. I was watching the video. I was so happy when I was getting rained on. I'm like, I was, uh, <laughs> I was so heartbroken. I was like, she's right next to the house. I can just go out, but. Uh, but you know, obviously you've yeah. come already mm -hmm. and I really, really wanted to say to you that, you know, you, what you experienced with somebody asking you, are you videoing me? That is wrong. You're in a public place. Mm -hmm. So if anything, she should move for you if she doesn't want you in her camera. You shouldn't have had to show anybody what you're videoing or anything like that. None of that. You know, that person took advantage and that was wrong. That person was wrong. And oh. you have right to, to film in public place. Oh, all right. That's what I like. At least it's a free place here in London, you know. Yeah. But I think some people still carry. You know, in Africa, it's quite hard to fail. Yeah. So anyway, you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes. I Let me introduce <laughs> this beautiful lady to my audience. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the host, my host here in Peckham. Now, this is your plug here in Peckham. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, my name is Halila Yusuf. Everyone calls me Hali. Um, I manage a film production, motoro films um, company, and um, we render um, film services like um, for party events. Um, but also, we make our own films. Um, you can have a look on, on motoro Films channel. That's M O. I'm sure. I'll put, the I'll put the link. I'll put the link. I'll put the link in the yes. description so you can. Yeah. Um, today maybe we're gonna have a different experience. So what are we Absolutely. up to today? Absolutely. Um, I want to change that for you because um, yes, um, Peckham is like small Lagos, like you said, and that's the reason that I and my family we've lived here for so many years. I am Nigerian and I want to feel close to home. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I come. I live here. Um, lived here for. Uh, I personally have lived here for almost ten years, mm -hmm. and with my family we've lived here for about six, seven years now. Oh wow! So um, you know, I also went to school in the area so i really you know know the area very well um it's a it's a culturally diverse place mm -hmm. even though people call it small lagos it's not like it's very it's that dominant of nigerians it's mm -hmm. dominant of so many different cultures the caribbean culture you will find here you will find the african culture not just nigerians as well you know mm -hmm. you will find people from like the southern part of parts of africa you know they're all sharing their, um, their, their culture and bringing it all together it's a melting it, pot absolutely making it one big community mm -hmm. you know and Peckham is a nice place to be in uh, we've got people of um, British and people of the Eastern European communities they come here because they want to experience that you know if you come here on a Friday night you will see them you know um, the barbecue um, going on on one side you will see suya somewhere oh. yes absolutely so it's a nice vibe the fact that I can come outside and buy things that I would buy if I was in Lagos and still come come back I Perfect don't, I don't take it for granted. All right. So time to. Yes. So today, what we want to do, I want to make sure that I take it to some places, just so you can see what I'm talking about. 
experience a different side to her. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> always watch you. Oh, you watch my videos? Why not? Oh, yes. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, what's your name? Oh, Fabiola. Fabiola. Admire, actually. They oh. call me Admire. Admire? Yes. Oh, Amazing. you're very admirable, by the way. So. Yes, okay. thank All right. you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. Yes. So that's amazing. We met Team Tigress. So I can give you like and, you know, get something uh, out of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. That's really good. Thank yeah. you. So this is yeah. Dan and Den Superstore. And <laughs> yeah. we get everything Nigerian in here. Uh -huh. Like, she, you know, as you can see. What's this? <laughs> This is like fish, fish, dried fish. Oh, bonga fish. Yeah, bonga fish. Yeah. So how, where do you get your, your stuff from? From Nigeria. Any part of Nigeria that we're able to get, um, from Africa I mean, that you're able to get sauce uh -huh. from. Uh -huh. I get my oil from Syria. Uh -huh. So I get, mostly I have a lot of my stuff coming from Nigeria. Uh -huh. But we have some that we actually able to get from here. Uh -huh. by all the people that ship to you. This is our Egosi melon. Oh, yes. wow. Awesome. So we try as much as possible to get out of stuff. So we're home from home. <laughs> yeah, you get everything that you need. Wow. Oh. She's got the skater shoes. Uh -huh. That's you what I, I mean, wish. I'll say I still cover up to... Uh, I cover up to... 90% of our stock. Oh, yeah. awesome. That's you really get dry fish. We get snail, uh -huh. periwinkle. Yes, you snails. Got to... Snails, yeah. Snails? Dry snails. Dry one. What? And we have frozen one. We have live ones sometimes, but uh -huh. we're not, um, not all the time because mm -hmm. it's a high season and the market as well. So once we get in, mm -hmm. you know, we try, we try our best. Wow. <laughs> and just so everything Nigerian, if you want to cook, Yes. Uh, if you want to experience home, yes. this is where you I get it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, even the peanut, they mm -hmm. just pack like how you would find it in the store yes. in Nigeria. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. See? And look, look as well. Oh. That's um, our chewing stick. Chewing for stick. Brushing. Yeah, for brushing. Uh -huh. So that is medicinal. We've got the spicy one, which is the yellow one. The yellow one, yeah. That's very good for tooth ache, tooth infection. Uh -huh. This is the spicy one. <laughs> <laughs> it's very spicy. Uh -huh. so if you've got like germs in your tongue, <laughs> yeah. trust me. Trust me. I've had it before. It tingles your, 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 whole, your whole system. Yeah. So it's like you're using oh. a mouthwash. Oh. So it's two in one. Aside from it cleaning your teeth, it actually takes out all the infection. Yes. Oh. So our parents grew yeah. up using it. <laughs> wow. before, before we go this way. To medicine and all that. Yes. Wow. We have our herbs as well. So uh -huh. it's not just food only. We uh -huh. cover the health issue. We try and cover the spiritual church aspect of things. Mm -hmm. Even though some Muslim comes in because you can get some print stuff from here. Oh. And we yeah. have food. So yes, yeah, food, Africa, yeah, there's Africa. Africa. yeah. What's, yes. what's this? Okay, that's a call. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some people call it a call, some people uh -huh. call it a call. Can, can I pick? No, you can. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, some people call it a call. Some uh -huh. people call it a call. Yoruba is called it a call. Uh -huh. The Igbos, Benin, I know that they call it a gidi. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh. see, that's we them from corn. Oh. Very good if you're dieting, mm -hmm. you don't barely yeah. have that with pepper soup or beef. Oh my god! Wow, <laughs> you you enjoy that. <laughs> oh, okay. This is what it looks like inside. Yeah, yeah. it's called echo. This is echo. <laughs> or you call it pap pap. Yes. <laughs> So you get the original taste of everything put up in there. I guess when you're here, you always feel like you're still back at home. Trust me, since it's home from home. Uh -huh. very, 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 yes. Yeah. And yeah, this, this is this is where I get my fish every, from. Oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah <laughs> my bomo yes, and everything so. else. Yeah. Ah, you even have a boniki. Yes. <laughs> Especially in <laughs> London. Uh -huh. The white people use abonica as well because it's good for arthritis. Oh. Yeah. So it's a natural bag <laughs> that works nicely with the bone. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a bono. So do you know about bono? 
What yes. Part, oh, sorry, what part of Africa are you from? I'm from East Africa, I'm from Kenya. Oh, yeah, but see. I've been to Nigeria well, like, three times. Yes, Nigeria, of course. Know, to, like, <laughs> uh, oh, Port Harcourt, I've been oh, to so Akwa Ibom, yeah. Abuja, I've been oh, well to Ibadan. Oh, <laughs> really oh my god, you be, even though me being from Nigeria, I've never been to like Port Harcourt. I'm only a Lagos girl, do you understand? Hey, city girl. Yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing with the city. Anything extra that I give it to her. Uh, <laughs> she loves to explore. So she oh, wow. Yeah. It's lovely. So, do you know about this? Uh, cola? Bitter cola. Bitter cola. Ah, you cola. see? <laughs> you tried. I'm thinking you tried. That's bitter cola. We have bitter cola. We have cola. Uh -huh. I'll show you what. You know what cola looks like? Let's see. All right. Let me show you what cola looks like. This okay. is cola here. In order for you to preserve it and. Um, to make sure that they're not dry the way. Uh -huh. So this is what um, this is. I'll show you bit by bit. So you know, you already made a bit of. I Nigeria. know a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. This one, if you're doing a naming ceremony uh -huh. any part of Nigeria, not too sure. Uh -huh. Maybe the houses use it. Uh -huh. The Yorubas, the Igbos, any eastern part, west part of Nigeria, you must have this colour not for wedding. Yeah, for wedding, yes. it has to and for yeah. naming, uh -huh. and it has to be. In this form, the houses they eat uh -huh. it for pleasure, uh -huh. but the Yorubas, the Igbos, they believe in this so much that they will use it to pray, uh -huh. and the, the prayer is so meaningful. Ah. And this is so important that like, you cannot do a, a traditional wedding, wedding, yeah, and not have this color. Yeah, I've seen it. Like yeah. someone said, for you, a lot of West Africa actually I also noticed in Gambia. Yeah. It's they, the same. Okay, they yeah, they say that. before you marry, you have to take have color to, to, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the parents. That's it. Yeah. Because it's one thing that the parents look into. Uh -huh. It's like you respect the culture when you bring this to them. The color. And to preserve uh -huh. it in this part of the world. Yeah. In Nigeria, it did survive very nicely. They didn't have to do all this. Maybe uh -huh. they do, but I've uh -huh. seen them just put it on the shelf and people just pick and buy. Yeah. Well, because of the weather we have in united kingdom you have yeah. to wrap it and you keep doing this like every two two weeks so that because if you see the paper is a bit moist yeah so you have to change it so that you can have it this fresh yeah. and nice okay yes ma'am it's cola <laughs> okay and you can see it's still very fresh yes so you don't expose it too much but you open it you wrap it you wrap you put it. it back here oh okay <laughs> all right and then we have another one called okay now this cola no. now cola yeah this is orobo Bitter cola. Bitter cola. This is ordinary cola called cola. Obi. This uh -huh. is Orogo. This wow. one now, if you want to preserve it, the best way to keep them back there. When they're together in one form, they could survive for two years. Ah. But the moment you expose them, maybe you took one out, then you're losing them. It's like they breed on each other to keep it alive, fresh. Wow. Even though back in Nigeria, they put it in the bag, then they put it in the sack. Mm. And you don't put it on the floor. Because floor has its own natural moist, mm. and you don't want it to dry, keep drying and all that. To keep it crunchy, beautiful and nice, yes, you need yes. that. Yeah. Ah, okay. So <laughs> I would ask you, how long have you been in, how long have you stayed here in Peckham? Or when did you come to the UK? Okay. Um, I was born in the UK. Oh, you were born here? But uh, raised in Nigeria. Raised in Nigeria. So uh -huh. I went to Nigeria when I was like around six years old. Uh-huh. And then grew up with the system and all that. I came back when I was, um... 16 years of going to into my sixth form. Uh -huh. So started life from there. And then when I finished from university, I studied accounting and finance. And it was so, it wasn't me working in an office. And I had a dream that I'm gonna run my own business. And one day I said to my husband, what would you think if I said I wanna run like my own business? He said, that's a very good idea. Then I started, I spoke to so many people, nobody was able to tell me this is where to start, this is how you start. So it was so ethic for me that I nearly gave up on that dream. Mm -hmm. And then one day I buy cream from this particular auntie, I buy my body, everything to do with my house, I buy it from her. And she, she saw me, she said, oh, I see you have the potential of having a shop. And I said, yes, she said, what would you say if I give them, if you buy this shop off me? I'm like, are you kidding? I mean, we come in here, we feel like we're in Nigeria, and uh -huh. she understands. She goes, um, because of the kids, and she's relocating, and she told me all this, and I'm like, oh my God, Auntie, are you being serious? And that was how I started from 2008. Wow. I moved to this location. I know. Oh. When I tell people this story, they're like, oh my God. And myself and my husband, we just started like that. 
when we initially started, we were into our church item because I go to a white garment church. Oh, okay. So, okay. Oh, oh, so okay. I I started with church items, church, church uh -huh. things that you pray with, like you uh -huh. can get your crucifix, your Bible, your incense, your holy communion, your communion, anything you can think that you're going to use in the church. Mm -hmm. I have it. Then cosmetic. As time goes on, cosmetic was getting too expensive. People, a lot of people were doing cosmetic. And then you can't bring, you don't know what Nigerians will appreciate that you bring from Nigeria. So it was so, it was so like imbalancing. Mm -hmm. I did a lot. I went into the trading of fashion as well. So I go to China and, and then eventually I started with food. Mm -hmm. And with food, you cannot satisfy your customer. And you're never short of customer. Because the more they ask, the more you bring in. The more they ask, the more you bring in. Everyone something. has to eat every That's day. <laughs> <laughs> no matter, you can imagine during COVID time. Yeah. So we went, we now went further with my son and my husband. We started shipping from Nigeria. From that, we upgraded. We started bringing container in. And then we're able to supply other supplier they could buy from us. And then, to God be the glory, we are here today. <laughs> oh, wow. So the journey is, it's it's been. been. So what we do now, because if you notice, most African store. We don't take the advantage of whatever we have in the country. Mm -hmm. That includes myself. So as time was going on, we started, it even took me like maybe two, three years ago. And yesterday I found out so many things that I did not know that even though the United Kingdom could provide for businesses. Oh. Yeah. And I've been in the system from 2009. That's why I said to you that people don't give, we don't pass information. information. It's so bad. Oh. It's, I've seen people that there was a YouTuber in our shop that interviewed my husband yeah. a couple of years ago and he was telling people how you could start up your business and from there we have so many people come to the shop oh auntie where is someone who want to speak to him then we speak to them we coach them and to God be the glory they've started which I still believe we can do more it's not going to stop you from flowing oh, yeah that's 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 a it's very not, good mindset i do not believe that yeah. i have to do everything if yeah. you do you do look at the asians yeah. one person have one idea two people join up we start investing by the time you know it they grow exactly and that is how growth is if you look yeah. at a family if it's just the mother you're not growing mm -hmm. but when it's mother father children then you're growing uh -huh. that means you're doing something good so we we need to have that mindset that give people information, information. yeah like the sky is big it's for big everybody <laughs> it's big yeah the sales i'm gonna make i'm still gonna make it and, and it will not stop you from making that's sales it. because you shared the ideas that's with someone it. else that's it so yeah. i believe in that you know i have that orientation from when i was growing up and my husband is another person he will tell you oh do this oh do that during the COVID time i don't used to do dhl uh -huh. And then the DHL, because most shops were closing down, and people want to send things up, um, to their family locally, uh -huh. post office was not working. Uh -huh. I started doing DHL, uh -huh. and it widened up the business. So now people will come and I do DHL, uh -huh. I do electricity. Uh -huh. So if you want to top up your light, you hardly find it in African stuff. Yeah. So people will come and say, wow, are you from Africa? I'm like, here. Yeah. They say, oh, because it's an Asian thing. It's a, no, it shouldn't. It should it be shouldn't all be. of us thing. We should uh -huh. all be able. And it brings revenue. revenue. I have um, Google. My shop is on Google. So Google will update me and say, oh, 5,000 people view you. Oh. So if you put down and then yeah. on um, I'm gonna Google. put it in the description yeah. for people who want yeah, to come. Yes, you, she's there. very it's helpful. She, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she has resource. She's very resourceful. Yeah. You can get your staff here if you want to learn information. She's one of those people who are very willing to share information because I was also having this conversation with some Kenyan the other day, and they say the problem is sometimes when people come to the diaspora, they change. Yeah, they change. They don't want to share anything. They keep them to yeah, themselves. Sometimes grow. they would. They would even give you wrong advice. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. yeah. You don't grow by doing that. I've seen people come to me and say, Auntie, do you think going into business was the best idea? Mm -hmm. I said, well, everything has their pros and cons. So to confirm that this is really small Lagos, okay? Uh -huh. I have a surprise for you, right? Really? Yes. <laughs> Something uh -huh. that you cannot not see in Lagos. Uh -huh. Suya sports. All right? I've missed Suya. <laughs> yes. Mm, this I is can perceive the smell already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is oh. our popular Suya sport. You know, today is not weekend, but uh -huh. usually in the weekends, the lines will queue up from here all the way to there, uh -huh. waiting for their suya. You know? Oh, wow. Yeah. Woo. It smells really good. Thank you very much. Oh. So you 
Well, how do you sell it? Right, um, suya is 10 pounds. Okay. 10 pounds for suya? Yeah, yeah for a portion. Okay. Uh -huh. And chicken wings is also 10 pounds. Uh -huh. And I have jollof rice as well, it's 5 pounds. Okay. On Friday and Saturdays, I do asun. I used to do it every day, but ah? doing asun, asun uh -huh. spicy mutton. Uh -huh. Yeah. They use goat meat in Nigeria, but we don't have goat meat here. This one is uh -huh. So we use mutton. So we grill it on charcoal and chop it up and cook it with scotch and onions. So oh. it's called asun. But well, that one is really spicy. Uh -huh. we like so we use Uganda's um scotch bonnet, we actually Uganda. use so it's very good. Okay, okay. And I have a test of suya. So What's your name? Um Kola Wale Ajai. Kola Wale Ajai. Kola Wole Ajai. Kola Wole Ajai. Yes. So just call me Kola. Kola. Like Kola Nat. <laughs> the spelling of Kola Nat, the first four letters. <laughs> yes. Yeah, boss. Yes. So I would we want do. We want, uh, we want one to other one, want one portion. Yeah, one portion. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yes. fine. Yes, that's fine. You want onions and tomatoes on it? Yes. Right. Fantastic. That makes it like nyama choma. You yes. Know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also with, with spices. With like spices, chili, yeah. Nuts, yes. mm -hmm. Garlic, ginger. We mix the pepper together. Oh yes. my goodness, and it smells good. If you came here, you could have seen me mix the pepper, but I wanted oh. my secret. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's <laughs> your secret. Okay. All right. Yeah. It really yeah. smells good. Mm -hmm. like oh, that's what you that's, use. Yeah, that's your okay. Okay. Today I feel like but I'm in Nigeria. Stay on it like that. Like, like the way it looks. Um, I use a banger, so the way it works for me, um, that's my own, you know, way of doing it. In Nigeria, yeah. they use the raw meat oh. and they put the pepper on it. Okay. The, 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 the meat air is full of water. Uh -huh. mm. You know, so what I need is to make you go through the process of grilling. You see the machine there. Oh. Mm -hmm. To grill it first and get the water out. Then uh -huh. I use oil as a binder between the pepper and the meat, so the pepper can stick on it. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. it's amazing. The water coming from the meat it will just get washes stuck. it out. Yeah, oh. it's very true. I, mm. I just use that oil to bind it, and of course. Because you still need the oil to make it cook, or else it's going to dry like biscuits. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, make it moist. so it makes it moist. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And that's how I just keep. And you need to be skillful to do it, or else Absolutely. you burn it and it's going to be too dry. So you mm -hmm. have to know the consistency oh. and the texture of what you want. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Okay. Really? Can't wait to have a taste of suya. Yeah, yeah. and what's, also with what's, the what's the name of your stall or restaurant? It's suya, S W Y A R. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'm on Instagram, I'm on, I'm on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Do you render party events? I do party events. Oh, you do party well. events, as party well. events as well. Okay. And I've got like six guys working for me, so. But if it's me, they want I'm quite expensive, but my voice, that one's quite cheap. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to serve you now, but I just want to make sure that. That's right, because I use my hands to fill it. Careful okay, 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 okay. So you understand that it's Yeah, so I heard that um, the onions, uh -huh. it would spice up, it would give a boost to the spice, and then yeah. the tomato will cool it down. Uh-huh. That's now what they do. <laughs> so the way we have it, is yeah. we have your onions or tomatoes, uh -huh. and sometimes the garbage jam cucumber, depending on, you know, the, the garnish you want to put on it. All right. keeping it simple here, yeah? okay. just onions and tomatoes. All right. So street food. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it smells okay, really food. good. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs>
uh -huh. you know, perfecting my skills. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I feel like I'm in Lagos now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice Food is nice. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's when you really go to sauce. foreign countries, the, sauce is nice. mm -hmm. the, the good thing is it's all fresh, you see. So, yeah. every yeah. day, you know, I cook it fresh and sell out. Uh -huh. Compared to restaurants that in microwave and keep it in the freezer yeah. for two weeks. Yeah. yeah. This is street food, fresh. Fresh, yeah. yeah. I sell out. So me and my team, we wash and go. Lovely. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, one thing I like, you know, sometimes when you go to foreign countries, and you go to local restaurants, the food is not as good. But this one is good, even better than some restaurants I've eaten in Nigeria, to yeah, be honest. I'm <laughs> exactly, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. So I'm giving you no, the, the, ready, the ready. house and the chicken on the house. Aww. I'm charging for the beef. Oh, wow, thank you so that. much. Okay. Thank you. This is a massive treat in London. Oh. Please, did you capture that? What you said? You better you capture it, so <laughs> you, you have to, uh, don't pack, pack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He was okay. capturing payment. So, uh, I'm going to give you the rice on the house, jollof rice on the house. I'll give you the chicken on the house as well. Uh, and then I'll just charge you for the beef here. Yeah. Oh, thank you thank so you, much. Thank oh, you, thank you. Thank you. You're doing well, so. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. I appreciate it. Man, that's so generous. Now, this is what I know. Nigerians are very hospitable, especially yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. Yes. They spoil you with food. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so Have much. A wonderful, wonderful time. Yeah, they are all Africans, but they're not uh, Nigerians. It's a melting pot, yeah. like we call it. Exactly. It's a melting pot for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh -huh. if you're ready, we can, we can have a look. All right. Yeah. So, where are you from? I'm from Africa originally. Yeah, uh -huh. but, um, I'm from Caribbean descent. Jamaica. And Barbados. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, lovely, well, lovely. Unique. I got a unique oh, view. Yeah, I, I see, because I see a lot of Ethiopia. Uh, I've seen a lot of, of Ethiopia here yeah. in the shop and outside. <coughs> Lots of Ethiopia. Kenya, I've got some Kenya. I see these belts. Oh, yeah, from this Kenya. Ke yeah, they're from Kenya. Yeah. From oh, yeah, Kenya. these are the Maasai belts. Easy. Yeah. We've got everything from everywhere, you know? Everything from everywhere, Africa. Yeah, yeah even Caribbean, uh -huh. all parts Ooh. of the world. You know, one thing I know about a lot of people from the Caribbean, they love Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they love Africa so much. You've been to Africa? I've been to Africa, yeah. Where? Plenty of time. Uh, Gambia, I've been to Ethiopia, I've been to Eritrea, mm -hmm. um, Egypt. Been oh, to you should Morocco. come to Kenya. Yeah, Africa is Africa. You come know. to Kenya. When you come to Kenya, you get more of these. They you took know. us. They took us from Africa, of but course. they can't take it from your blood. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so Absolutely. this will make us go back. Uh huh. But we went out and we learned. Now we're going back now. All right. How long you've been here? In the market. Yeah. About nine nine years. Something nine like years. Eight and a half nine years. Uh huh. And yeah. uh, what is it that you love about Peckham? Um, Peckham is, you know, kind of unique place, like Africa. Uh huh. You have everything in one place in Africa, same like Peckham. Oh, all right. You have a part of everywhere mm -hmm. in Peckham, so that's what makes it. You know, unique and special, mm -hmm. I guess, in that vibrant way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you yeah, mean. I can right. see it. it has I, its can, own spin. I can see the Africanness. You know, like every area has got its own spice. Yeah. Every area has got its own flavor, isn't it? Yeah. Beckham got its flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's African spe <laughs> Well, it's all combined. You know? It's a cocktail. It's all combined. Yeah. Caribbean, yeah. Africa. Uh, yeah. But Caribbean is like Africa. It is. It <laughs> so is. It is one. It yeah. is one. Yeah. Like I say, it's. It's not, a, it's not the land, it's the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your race is the people. It's the heart it's also. It's not land. You know? mm -hmm. Race is not land. Mm -hmm. It's people. Because, oh. as you know, black people transcend the whole world. So then it's yeah. no landmass. 
it, so people must. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you for You're inviting welcome. me to your show. Right. Maybe you can tell us uh, where you are located, or if All you right, have any social platforms Rylan, that someone. We're here in Rylan, Peckham. We're here on Sky in Sky Shopping City, one three seven to one three nine. You can catch us from Monday to Sunday, seven uh, nine to seven p.m. Do you have any social medias and all that? We do the social. This is our social media. Oh, this is our social media. That's, see, that's what's unique about my show. All right. You know I mean? yeah. All right. We're we surviving social, like yeah. we're living in, 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 in 12th century. <laughs> that's how I survive. I don't need no social media. My, people will talk. All they will right. use their mouth and talk. <laughs> as in Kenya, you're going to know about me already. You know? All right. Yeah. Big up. Big up. See, big, big up. up my brother as well. This is my brother, Blacker. He's in Ivory Coast, you know. Oh. You get what I'm saying? And and your name is? My name is Prophet Slim. Russ Russ Slim. Russ Slim. Russ Slim. All right. Thank you so much, Russ Slim. You appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to Pepper. You know? Okay. Now I'm just checking around the foods that you're selling here. Oh, look, they've been selling snails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So if you take snails, you can get them here. This is called. Ah, what is the name disappearing? This one, okra, okra, okra. <laughs> yeah, they have okra, snails, uh, yam, some yam. This is called yam, right? Yeah. So they have some yam here. Everything. Aloe vera, I think. This is aloe vera. Wow. It's quite interesting to see these things for showering because, you know, in East Africa, we don't use them. I started using this once I experienced it in West Africa because it's, you know, we always joke and say this thing cleanses even your sins. All this, you'll still get it here in Peckham in the UK. Can't believe that. My goodness so we have a fresh food market here yeah, i see lots of vegetables and fruits let's check it out oh wow so we have some tomatoes onion onion wow Wow, this makes me feel like I'm in a market back at home. Everything that you need if you want to cook and all that, you can still get it here. So the market or the street is closed off to vehicles as you can see and you can only be able to shop safely. And vehicles are from this point towards that side. Wow, love it. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> next customer, please. Who next? Who next, please? Are you okay, Daniel? Yeah. All right. Hello, yes, how are you? I'm good. Thank oh, you. we're checking out uh, the oh, market. All right. Yeah. No worries. I love. Book you for eye test. You want to book me for eye test? Yeah, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have my glasses already. All right. Yeah. Um, when was the last time you had the eyes tested? This ones I got about two months ago after losing the ones I had. So I had to test and get this ones. All right. No yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's what you do here? Exactly. Oh, and what's your name? I'm Tobias. Tobias. Yes. Yeah. Oh, where are you from? From Ghana. From Ghana. Oh, okay. I'm from Kenya. Oh, yeah. Kenya. I'm here visiting and you know. Just trying to create content around oh, Peckham and all that. 
Yeah, nice meeting you, Tobias. Oh, same here. How long have you been in Peckham? Um, I've been here since last year. Since last I'm year? Schooling, actually. Oh, you're a student. Yeah. Your favorite thing about Peckham? Peckham? Yeah. Um, the fact that I get to see a lot of black people around. Oh, okay. It, it gives yeah. you that feeling of being yeah. at home. Exactly. And yeah. um, I'm sure you also get Ghanaian food. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> a lot from yeah, Ghana market here. Yeah. Kumasi oh, there's market. a oh Kumasi market. Yeah, Where is along it? The street. Oh, along this street. Yeah. So I should proceed straight. Sure. Uh, Do I need to take a turn anywhere? Uh, when you get to the street, um, take your right. Uh huh. Yeah. It's uh -huh. on your right. Yeah. Oh. That, that's great. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you all. all right. Appreciate uh, it. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Well, the marketplace has a lot of them, but you can see even here we have the Nigerian seafood, uh, suya and lobster restaurant, and you can get your suya here as well, or your lobster. Lovely place. Uh, I came about three weeks ago. Okay, where yeah. are you staying? Uh, I'm staying in Islington. Okay, yeah. so it will be away from yeah, there. Yeah, it's on the, the other yeah. side, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how long, how long? It's lively though, yeah. it's lively. Uh, uh, yeah, how long have you been here? In, um, this one it's been a week and a few days but yeah. we've got a big one in Deptford oh you have yeah, another a big restaurant in where Deptford oh okay yeah, that's, that's this um, part of London oh, okay <laughs> yeah. all right you need to go to Deptford I'll definitely Honestly. when I'll go there I'll... yeah so how long go. have you been in the UK oh me personally uh, yeah. since I was about nine so it's oh. been so you've grown up oh, here basically yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. Exactly. and what's your favorite thing about Beckham Peckham is not really my area. Deptford, uh -huh. Deptford, uh -huh. but Peckham, uh -huh. I find Peckham a bit more congested, uh -huh. you know, compared to Deptford. Yeah. Deptford, I grew up in Deptford, so yeah. it's like familiar, familiar territory. So I know the people, I know, mm -hmm. you know, so. But whereas Peckham, Peckham is more bigger than Deptford, you know, so, and it's, a lot more people mm -hmm. and people come here to do more shopping because Beckham has more in terms of banking, mm -hmm. boots and you know but whereas in Deptford we don't really have that but we have the illusion fantastic. I so. came some few days before this place was open okay so I was looking for a place for Suya and I was told oh okay. we're opening on 15. Oh, oh, okay. So happy to see you open and so yeah lovely. thank you so much you my name back? is Lynn Lean back. So, African tigers, um, I hope you've had so much fun oh, seeing good. the Today, so far. I feel at home. I don't even know what. I don't know what spirit was covering <laughs> that day. <laughs> like I today, know. I'll, 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 I'll just yeah, at home. I'm really happy we've been able to change that. You, um, oh. but 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 just to say, this is Peckham, but there's more to Peckham than this, right? Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I live in Peckham, I want to show you the residential part. Just I think that that day was just a bad day at work. 
Yeah, let's just say. Let's just yeah, call it that. I can just call yeah. it. It was like a bad yeah. day. At the weather work. didn't help. The too. weather, yeah. yeah. So, like stepping out today, the kind of people that I've met and everything, it's just been a very beautiful experience. I love it. I love it. I'm very, very glad being able to turn that around, give oh, yeah. you, give you a different experience to uh -huh. see. Because, you know, this, this thing that you mentioned about Peckham is such a big thing. Because, you know, I have, like, like I said earlier, my sister is around right now. She came from Nigeria as well. Yeah. But she's in, she's in the West. And uh -huh. I went to see her and I was like, let's go to my house. Let's go. And she's like, yeah, where is that? Let's go to Peckham. She's like, ah, I'm not going to Peckham. I'm not going to. Like, because, you know, the said, stereotypes. Well, uh -huh. I live in Peckham. You're going to go to Peckham, you know. <laughs> and she came and she wished she was here. You know, oh. eh? she wished that she got a place very around here. Bubbly. Yeah, but okay. you know, people need to stop passing on wrong information. If you've been to a place maybe 10 years ago, ask what's going on now. Don't assume it's what you experienced 10 years ago that is happening right now. 10 years is a long time, 15 years is a long time for growth and development to happen within a community, within our people, for people to change, for people to learn, you know? Black people now, we just want to thrive. We have more black young kids going into the university more than ever, mm -hmm. coming out with great grades. Thank you so much for your time, it's and been I truly a pleasure. appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Please. Okay, so Amazing. also, I know if you are an actor, you, you work with actors, yes. actresses, yes. directors, and all that. Yes. So if you want to act in a film. Yes, that's actually something yeah, that I you can do say casting. for free. Yes. Yeah, you do casting yes, for films. I can say that for free. Yeah. We do casting. Please follow uh -huh. at Motoro Films. That's M O T O R O Films. On, on Instagram. On Instagram. Yes, we Facebook. do. Yeah, we're always looking. Uh -huh. And Twitter. We're always looking for um, actors, young actors of not just young of all ages as well africans it doesn't matter what language you speak as well even if you don't speak english if you speak yoruba swahili all of that we want we want them all <laughs> all right all right if you are dream to become a super actress they, they've just inspired something in me and i feel like maybe next time in the next you know few couple of months i'll be the next best actress from africa yeah. to the world <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. Amazing. I truly thank appreciate you so it. Much. Wow, what a day and experience in Peckham. Totally different from the first time I visited. Thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it and learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, sharing is caring. Go ahead and share this video. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.